This week's arrest of a Lapine man for luring a minor looking for a job serves as a reminder to parents about online safety. He was caught by officers and accused of sending inappropriate messages to a teen. Kelsey McGee has more on this case and tips from an expert. Kelsey? Ben Police's communications manager, Sheila Miller, says when someone comes forward, this is an option for officers to take over their phone. We want kids, when they find something uncomfortable or scary, to reach out to a trusted adult. The teen was looking for a job. Her potential boss reached out. Started messaging her in inappropriate and sexually suggestive ways. An officer then was able to message the man, posing as the teen. In this situation, it was mom, and mom turned it over to law enforcement. Kids Center is a nonprofit in Central Oregon, which helps investigate child abuse cases. It's also a treatment center. The platforms that are going to be the safest are the, going to be the ones where you're allowed to put limitations on them, where you're allowed to turn off location settings, where it's not so much the platform itself, but how the user engages with them. Prevention Education Manager Rachel Weiser says there are three ways to protect yourself online. The first thing is to make sure your account is private. That's keeping your account and messaging private. The second thing is to turn off your location for social media platforms so people can't track where you're at every point of the day. And oversharing personal and private information. For teens, it's important to keep an open line of communication with an adult, similar to the teen who turned to her mom. The adults are going to be able to know about what's new and what's upcoming and then be able to talk about ways to say, stay safe. Ben police are continuing their investigation of John Matthew Cooper, the owner of Cooper Racing and Repair in Sun River. We're asking um, anyone who's had inappropriate conversations with Mr. Cooper to come forward, and we have already received some calls from people with additional information. Last year, officers were part of a four-month temporary project posing as teens and arresting people for luring. Miller says it was so successful they may do it again. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21.